שיר למעלות, אשא עיניי להרים, מאין יבוא עזרי. Shalom Barakha, I would like to wish you a good day today. And I would like to wish you a good week. As you know, life starts today as usual, as if it was a few months ago, without having fears from the corona. Unfortunately, the corona left a lot of thousands of deaf people, thousands of people that they are still with COVID-19 service. And uh, unfortunately, I don't know if the world will come back as it was before or not. But today, the whole world, the other government will start to, to do something, to take life as usual in certain country. In certain, in the, in certain country, still everything is feel safe, stay home. For me, I think still it's the best, it's the best uh, things to do. To be safe, stay home. I know it costs money, it costs depression, it costs a lot of things, but health comes first until there is sure. Today there is nothing sure because they advise that you have to put mask, they don't you have to be far away from uh, other people, two meters, and don't talk in front of people. And uh, be careful with the, if you don't need to go out, don't go out. Well, uh, it's a, a contradiction. But uh, the pressure of uh, the business uh, put governments to, to, to go ahead, understand. My friend, one thing is sure, that nothing is sure. This is what I can tell you. Nothing, one thing is sure, that the, nothing is sure. So, we still have to be very, very careful. Well, my friend, this kind of warning, be careful. We saw it in the parasha of the week. That most of, of the mitzvot that Hashem he gave to the Bnei Israel, he asked them, be careful, be careful, be careful. I mean, it's something that we must understand. In life, we have to be careful. You want to cross a street, you have to be careful. You want to eat, be careful how you eat, so that you will not swallow uh, the food in the wrong uh, the wrong way, drink as well. Be careful in everything. Be careful in physical life and be careful in spiritual life. Be careful, don't forget to put fill in. Be careful, don't forget uh, to keep Shabbat. Don't forget uh, this, don't, don't forget this, don't forget this. There was somebody who was who always was laughing with, when I was talking. And one day, I know that uh, he came to the synagogue on Shabbat only because uh, he, he lost his father. So he had to do the Kaddish. But the, beside the Kaddish, yeah, he didn't feel any obligation to the religion. But he was a, he respected his, fa his father. And beside his father, he, he gave him a big heritage. So, so 
So, Leleke thanks Ful for what he did. He came to this synagogue. And one day, I was talking about be careful. Be careful with this, be careful with this, be careful with this. And then I looked at him. I know that I was going to say something uh, that he will start laughing about what I'm going to say. So I said, you have to be careful when, you, when, when uh, for a small mitzvah, because if you are not be careful with a small mitzvah, mitzvah, so maybe God, God forbid you will do a big, a big abera. Because if you don't care about small mitzvot, so of course you will not care about big mitzvot. And if you will not care about big mitzvot, you will do nothing. And I said, and you know, such a small mitzvah is, when you keep it, it can save you from death. Like you play f football, you have a yamoke on your head, you run after the yamoke, and then the yamoke fail because you run. And you carry, you carry on running after uh, the ball. Maybe you will put your hand in your head, but not everybody will do that because they are concentration on the ball to, to make a goal. And then, then you remember, well, you have to come back to the, to the ground, to the field, well, you look for your arm, okay? You take it, you put it. For you, it's nothing. But if you have the fear of Hashem, you have to, to remember Hashem first. Not, 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 not the ball. The ball should come second. And what happened? It happened. That's, that's it. This is a story. And that man in the shul, he was looking at me and he was laughing because uh, he, he loved to play football. And uh, of course, uh, he, he didn't care, but because it was in, in the year of his father, so for the old year, he kept the yamoke in his head, as I told you. So he came to see me one day after. He was very pale. And he told me, Rabbi, I want to come back to Judaism. I want really to do the Judaism as Hashem wants. Teach me, tell me how. I told him, what's up? What happened? What happened? He said, well, on Shabbat, you did your uh, speech. As, as you will, your speech for me were always funny. What I like, I like about your speech, when you say a story, I laugh about your story. Sometimes I believe, sometimes I don't believe, but I still have two months before the year of my father so I can get back my freedom as usual. So I say, okay, let your freedom now. Tell me. He said, well, every Sunday I play football. And that day, I was playing, I was the one who strike. I have the Yamuke in my head. As you know, I am the year of my father. So I want to keep the year nice. So I was running after the game and the, the keeper faked. And I was thinking what you said. Keep small mitzvah you will keep big mitzvah. Sometimes a small mitzvah can save your life from death. You remember Rabbi who said that? I said yes. So I stopped. I went back, pick up the, the, the yamoke and I put it in my head. And in the meantime, they, we lost the game. But we lost the game, but my friend, they, they, they attacked me. They told me, you were, and the, the ball was in your leg. You could strike, you could make a goal. 
and the, because you stop for your keeper, so we lost the game. I didn't answer. That night, I had to go to see my sister. I was invited by my sister. I took the car to drive. I am a good driver. I saw the traffic light. It was red. I stopped. So I had, after it become, uh, when changed the, the light, I carry on. At that moment, somebody he did not respect, and uh, he, he hit me. You cannot imagine if you see the pictures. The, the, the police don't understand how I'm living. And one thing happened after the accident. I don't know how it happened. The keeper was in my hand. So, as you said, the keeper saved my life. The keeper saved my life. My friend, you have to know that today, this is the reason why Hashem, every time you warn in the Torah, Hashem will warn you, don't do this, don't do that. You never know about the reincarnation. Nobody knows why did we come here to, to repair in this world. I mean, we are not like everybody that we live, we die. No. Born, live, die. No. Each Jew has a reason why he came to this world. He has something to do. Can't you see? This is the reason why we don't know. What did the, what the reason that we came? So we have to keep everything, and we have to be always united, because maybe there is mitzvot that I can I cannot do. You can do them. There is mitzvot that they cannot do. So you do them. For, so all the Jewish people, we do what I can do. You do what you can do. He does. So if we are all united, so we share all the mitzvot together. At the end, all, we did all the mitzvot. That what the Pekah would said. All Jews have Olam Abba. How? But there is Jews that you cannot have Olam Abba. Because they did not do Od Mitzvot. Yeah, but because of the fact that we are united, so we make, all of us, we make like one person. When Hashem gives the Torah to the Jews, when it was important for Hashem that we fix all the bad qualities that we had, what was the reason? So that if we want to repair the bad qualities, at the end, we'll be like one. Because if I realize that all what I, I realize that I repaired all the bad qualities, so that means we are all unique. We are all like one. So now that we respect the mitzvot, so we are all in one... In, in, in one set, well, one set, we are not separate because the mitzvot, we share them. I share what you can do, and I can do. You, you share what you can, what I can do, and you can do. So we share, all of us, and we, we were like one person, can you imagine? All the Jewish people before Matan Torah, before Hashim gave the Torah, they were unique, they were like one like one heart, like one person. So, so you understand? You know, I have my hands. If my hand hurt me, all the body hurt me. If I have a, a problem with my teeth, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not only the teeth that I feel it. I feel the, the, I feel the hurt, you know, I feel the pain in all my body. When my body had a problem, if one part of my body had a problem, is the whole body has a problem. This is a Jew. The Jew they should be united when there is one that he doesn't love somebody else, so there is a problem among all Jews. You know, 
Corona, Corona is a crown. Keter, a king. He represents the, a, a nation, a kingdom. So when there is a nation, a kingdom, so there is a crown. I mean, a king cannot be a king without people. And people, they cannot have a king if they are not people. So Hashem, to be the king, we need, he need people, he need a nation, but not a nation divided. He want a nation unit, united. So my friend, that way Hashem, he compare, he give on the man 613 members in vain. And there is 613 mitzvot, the equivalent of the body. So that means the body, the body and the mitzvot are equal. That means it's only one. And when the Am Israel, when the Jews are united, so so what I can do? Like there is a mitzvah to get divorced. Oh, I don't want to divorce. I love my wife. He don't want to divorce, but there is always somebody who wants to divorce. It's impossible. Impossible. Nine million of, of Jews in the world that there will be no one that he wants to divorce because uh, he don't love his wife anymore or the wife should not love her husband anymore. So what's going to happen? If they divorce, so that means if I don't divorce, so that means I did not accomplish the mitzvot. What about if I don't have children? There is a lot of tzaddikim that the, the, the Satma Rebbe had no children, the Lubavitch Rebbe had no children, so they were, they were the big tzaddikim. There is a lot of tzaddikim that I know from the corona two weeks ago, but we were big tzaddik from New York. Big tzaddik had no children. Had no children. So what? Because and to have children is a mitzvah. It's one of the first mitzvot is to get married to have children. And they got married, they have no children. So, so what? So they did not, uh, they did not uh, uh, respect the mitzvot? No. Yes. Because, Baruch Hashem, they were, they had Ahavat Israel. They were big tzaddikim. All their life, they did Torah mitzvot. So they share their mitzvot with others that they didn't do. And because they have thousands of, uh, of Talmidim, of students, so the students, they do, they, they have children, they are the children of the Tzaddikim. When you were united, what you did not do in your life, so Akash Baruch Hu will share that mitzvah that you didn't do with somebody that he did it because of Ahavat Israel. This is why Rabbi Akiva said, To love your neighbor is, is the most important in the, the whole of the Torah. Why? Because by respecting, by respecting your, your, your neighbor like you, so all the, you share the mitzvot, all what he can do, it's like you did. All what he cannot do, you do it for him. And because you love him, so what he did not do, what he did, and because he, he loved you too, so like you did it, so we share it. It's like a plate of food, like in Morocco, I remember, you used to put a big plate of food, and all of us were to eat from that same plate. It was a big plate. It was not an individual plate. It was a big plate put in the table, and everyone ate from that plate. Even now, in Morocco, the Moroccan people usually always like a family, they eat, they eat the same plate. This is a, uh, that was uh, normal. That was normal. That was normal. My friend, now you understand, we are now in Sfirat Omer. In Sfirat Omer, we count the days, every day, when we will receive the Torah, till Shavuot. And my friend, the big question is Shavuot, it's uh, 
this holiday we name it Shavuot, weeks. Why we don't name it the day of Matan Torah? Pesach is Pesach because Hashem jumped the houses, the Jewish houses, not to kill the first born, the Jewish first born. Shavuot, it's Matan Torah. It's the day that we receive the Torah. So what we call it is weeks, seven weeks. You have to count seven weeks. What we call it weeks, the holiday of weeks. We never heard such a name, the holiday of weeks. My friend, the answer is that those weeks don't waste them. Those weeks are very important. Those weeks are the prepare you to receive the Torah. It's not a big deal to receive the Torah if you did not prepare yourself. So that's what the Torah gives you. You have to count seven weeks. And after seven, seven weeks, Hashem will give you the Torah. Because Hashem will not give you the Torah if you did not uh, prepare yourself on those seven weeks. And the, the number seven remind you Shabbat. The number seven remind you when the woman go to the mikveh, when she's nida. The seven weeks remind you that they remind you a lot of things. There is seven skies. The, the number seven remind you that there is seven earth. The seven weeks, the seven weeks remind you that there is a seven there is the moon, the sun, there is seven stars. Always the number seven. The seven weeks remind you there is one day left for the Brit Mila. The seven weeks remind you that the world will exist only 6,000 years. At the end of the 6,000 years, the beginning of the seven Mashiach will come. So this is, the number seven is very, very important. The seven weeks, he put you close to Hashem. So my friend, you see, Hashem, he give us seven weeks to prepare ourselves to receive the Torah. To, pre to prepare ourselves how to be united. How to take, like the Rabbi Israel Salanter, how to take from you all the bad qualities. Automatically, if the whole Jews take from themselves the bad qualities, that's it. It's finished. So we become like one person. So we will have, we will be like one person, we have the Torah, and we have Hashem. Hashem is one, the Torah is one, and the Jewish people are one. And that's why Hashem, all the time, He warns us, one, one. Today we live in this corona and uh, you have to be careful. There is a warning. It's not finished yet. You have to be very, very careful. Yes, you have to be very careful. My friend, Be'ezat Hashem, we pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu that Hashem will help you, will give you, to all of you, Bracha V'Atzlacha, and Briut, Amen Keratzon. Adonai ishmor tzedcha uvoecha Me'atai